And who will meet him there? Will it be Karnuta of Russia or Ayub El Yakini, the Moroccan? The first time ever for the Moroccan fighter to be at a top level championship event. So big moments for him. Bronze medal minimum. But his eyes will still Mesdames be on getting into the final. The final demi final de la soirée chez les hommes dans la catégorie des moins de 73 kg. Les concurrents représentent la Russie et le Maroc. Ladies and gentlemen, the second semi final in the men's under 73 kg class representing Russia, Sergei Karnuta. Representing Morocco, Ayub El Yakini. Al Yakini, the 70 year old from Woodzum City, just north of Marrakesh. And what can he make of the big occasion here from Rostovon on Don in Russia? The 17 year old Sergei Karnuta. Good run through to the final, including that big win against Korea. Emiliano Cruz from Mexico, wow. Couldn't have been much closer in that match. The quarter final went the way of Morocco. As Moon Jae Sung takes to the centre. The second semi final in the under 73 kilogram grouping. Karnuta or El Yakini. Well, the Moroccan team with an excellent World Championship so far. A couple of medals on the board. The Russian anthem has played a few times as well. Can Karnuta add himself to that growing list? Back kick attempt straight away from El Yakini, followed by a reverse, followed by a fall. Takes the Kyungo for falling. Switching stars, trying to give a different look to Karnuta, the Russian. Very composed fighter. Sergei Karnuta trying to use the front leg to good effect. Back kick just missing again. Getting closer though for El Yakini, certainly opening up aggressively. But of course, as we know in Taekwondo, if you open up, you can leave a space. There's the back kick again, the same tactic every time from El Yakini. Will it score? Well, it's landing with increasing regularity. Slides round the back there. It's been an enterprising start for El Yakini. Ayub from Morocco. Hasn't been rewarded on the scoreboard. Five back kicks, no points. 50 seconds left in the first. Switch into the open stance, back again. Well, looking for a little head kick replay here will be the Russian coach. Just a little flick to the face there. Artur Khan, the Russian coach, asking for three points for a head kick. Well, the fighter in blue just flicks his front leg up here. Any contact to the face. It's not on the head guard, that has to be to the face. Oh, it's very difficult to see from that angle. Well, who would be a referee? Hey, you. Saud Abdin Nabi, the Moroccan on. coach, hey, concerned. What will be the pronouncement of the video replay panel? Of course, if it hits the head guard, it has to be the electronic sensor. If it hits the face, well, really close one, really close one. Well, it has been overturned by the video replay jury. Too close to call. Video replay card is gone. And the back kick attempt. Well, that will be a four point shot. Wonderful effort from El Yakini. He's been rewarded finally. And I think we're going to see. A video replay from Saud Abdinabi. He put his card up. He was looking for an extra point for the spinning kick. 
Here we go. No. To my viewing, the four points had already gone up. He threw the back kick. Four points went on the board. They've now asked for an extra point. It's been given, but I think it could just be simply one spinning kick. So, of course, a spinning kick, you get extra points, up to the maximum of four. Let's have a little look for it here. Well, there's the reverse turning kick round the corner, so that's three points. The scoreboard does it reveal the fact that it goes up to four straight after. The reverse turning kick is worth four. The shot was thrown. The scoreboard went from three to four. Reverse turning kicks are worth four points, just to clarify. So it's just looking for an extra point. Will it be? Uh, uh, yeah, it's been taken off. That's exactly what happened. The reverse turning kick was four points. Taken away. So order is restored. Good work from the collaborative effort of the corner judges there. 20 seconds left, and it's been excellent from El Yakiri from Morocco. He's tried the back kick on a few occasions, this time changed it to a reverse. And he's been rewarded. There's a good chop kick attempt, but falls in the doing. Takes a Kyungo. been very impressive from El Yakini Yaoub. Tough times for Sergei Karnuta, who almost was allowed back to his seat there by his coach. Not happy. And Saud Abdenabi, happier though. The Moroccan coach. And this is why. Great reverse turning kick right round the corner. You see it flashes up as three. The extra point was then added, which made it four. And on we marched. An excellent round. <laughs> Sergei Carnuta, top class performer. But it's been the aggression, it's been the effort from El Yakini. Plenty for the Moroccans to cheer about because he's went for it, he's been aggressive, he's tried to throw more complex techniques, the high value techniques. Certainly worked for him so far. And here we go in the second round of the semi-final. Aggression straight away, both young men firing these head kicks in straight away. Trying again with a chop kick there. El Yakini. Sergei Karnuta. He's trying to find his way around. It's a lot of changing of angles from the Moroccan. Never goes back in a straight line, always goes off to the side, which makes him harder to find. But the Russian is on the prowl, and that's why he's found a shot there. Sergei Karnuta with the headshot pulls himself back into this one. But breathing heavily and a big power punch. Oh, you could feel that back in Vladivostok. Good headshot attempt again from Kamuta. Power on the back kick. He was in Kyungo territory as well. Well, this is a real battle for the World Championship final. Olympic Taekwondo at its very best. Less than a minute to go in the second. A point separating them. There's a big punch again. Doesn't score. Gets the distance right though. Confidence high from El Yakini. <laughs> the referee's doing a good job here because it's been fast paced. Back and forward. This young man in red trying to put some pressure on. Back right turning kick from El Yakini. Well blocked there from Karnuta. He's really beginning to breathe heavily now, the Russian fighter. Not much steam left in these shots, the legs looking a bit laboured, he's looking imploringly at the scoreboard. And this is only the second round. 
Still another two minutes to go. Not the best place to get tired. El Yakini, a high intensity fighter. What a round. An excellent from Carnuta. He's kept himself in this one. And a well deserved rest. Absolutely exhausted in the corner. Artur Khan, the coach for the Russian team, working hard. Well, he's been made to work for every shot, Al Yakini. But the Moroccan's confidence has been dented by a couple of good head kicks. World Championship final at stake here. The Russian coach, well, he knows that the point is useful, but it's far from insurmountable. This young man here, El Yakini, so aggressive and really trying the high value techniques. Well, here we go for the third and potentially final round. Two minutes to decide who's going into the World Championship final. Back kick straight away from El Yakini. Missing. Head shot again from Carnuta. Well, what a way to start from the Russian. He was a point up. He's now changed that to six steps through reverse. Back kick here from El Yakini. He's certainly going for the expansive techniques. Plenty of creativity from the Moroccan. Tries again with the reverse, walks into a simple shot on Carnuta. The Russian has really summed it up here. He's really pulled something out from deep within that motivation to try and get this done here. Back kick just misses again for Yalkini. Reverse this time, fires round the corner. Well blocked. From being in real trouble, Sergei Karnuta, in the space of a minute, closes the door there. The Russian just stepped on the gas. Wonderful fight. 23 points shared. But 18 to the Russian, and he is into the final. Richly deserved. Pulled it out in that third round there. What a performance from Sergei Karnuta. Into the final, Ayub El Yakini. Well, he put plenty in, and he goes home with a World Championship bronze. But the second round, wow, so close. And then he just shifted gears and ran away with it. That third round, wonderful stuff there. Well, that, of course, completes the semi-finals. Puts us into the business end, which is where this young man is heading. Highlights of which there were plenty. Spin kicks, back kicks, chop kicks. We saw a little bit of everything. And Sergei Karnuta, at one moment he looked really tired, but then he pulled it back and just stepped on the gas. Closed the show in the third round. And he's on his way into the Junior World Championship final. I think he's excited about it as well. Deservedly so.